hello everyone so we are going to go and walk around the ship and do a ship tour mm -hmm. we're going to start here in the lobby of the carnival breeze so this is the breeze lobby breeze bar which contains the breeze bar lots of comfortable seating throughout here in the evenings there's always live music and let's look up the decor is very different on the carnival breeze than it has been on any other carnival ship go looking all the way up through here and the bank of elevators the glass elevators are my favorite yes. you actually get to see how when the elevator works it's cool you know Okay, continuing to walk around the lobby. In this area, they normally have pictures set up in the evenings, so you can have your picture taken. I walked up and said, uh, Here's a fun hub for internet access. More seating. This is the Carnival Adventures desk. So this is where you're gonna to go to book any excursions that you wanna do in port. But, you know, we, we did it. Through this area, these are the forward elevators. Elevator. Elevators. I got a hiccup, so I hate it. And on the other side is guest services. And here is guest services. Diamond Platinum. Oh, oh, I see what you mean that about the uh, line. Okay, we're about to walk into the Ovation Theater. This is where the evening shows happen. And see, there is a sign here of all of the shows that will be going on in the theater this week. Okay, right now they're doing a morning show. So we're just gonna walk in and take a little look around. The outlets, where are they for upstairs? There you go, advertisement there, ladies and gentlemen. The omelettes are amazing. There you go. So, see a little approval down the front here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Outside of the restaurants are the menus for each day. So for instance, tonight is formal night. So we have our lobster and prime rib. Okay, this is the sapphire dining room. This is the midship dining room. We're just gonna take a walk through. another entrance back here so you can either enter from midship or you can enter from the lobby and we're gonna head back around to the lobby this is the kind of view you will have in this dining room so yes you do see the bottom of the lifeboats but you have a beautiful ocean view as well blue decor in here. Sapphire. Okay, we're gonna go up this beautiful spiral staircase. That's beautiful. What from is deck that? three to deck four. This is beautiful. What is this? Velvet? <laughs> deck four is the Pixel Studio. And this is also where you're gonna find the teen clubs and the arcade towards the back of the ship. The 
these is a digital studio, so they don't print all of those pictures. You can come right here, put in your folio number and your date of birth and see any pictures that are available. Okay, you can also reach the Ovation Theater from deck four. forward elevators right here and in the middle of each is a you are here map so it lets you know where you are on the ship which floor you're on and then you can see what you're looking for so see if you're wanting to go to the spa you can see okay it's on deck 12 forward so you can take these elevators to get to it if you're looking for the sky course it's okay. back here so if you don't know where you're going, these are next to each set of elevators so it really helps you find your way. Okay, this is the other side of Pixels and you will see again, it's a digital studio, but they do have a few pictures printed here from Embarkation Day. They also have snorkeling masks, we have those. water shoes. You can sit here and look at your pictures as you get some light evening entertainment. This is really cool. This is the best setup I've ever seen. And they also have different types of photo gifts you can buy. Here's where you're gonna order your photos. And they have a GoPro studio as well, in case you forgot to bring a camera along with you. Okay, just past Pixels, is the library bar. Now this one is unique in that it's a library and a bar. You can get wine in here. Look at that. You can get wine in the library. That's pretty nifty. But it is a library. They have books you can borrow if you forgot to bring a book along. They have board games, so you can come in here and play games with your family. And they have lots of board games. This is actually the best well-stocked library I've seen. And then comfortable seating. Oops. I love that you're gonna find these nice little cozy seating areas all over the ship. This is comfortable, that looks comfortable. Here's access to the lifeboats. You cannot walk out there. You can see the access. Turn the boat so you can move left and right. You can only up and down. This is dining room right here. The windows are opaqued out. But this is the dining room. <laughs> and it looks like we're entering the art gallery. Okay, just past the art, there's another fun hub. These are all over the place. And I believe we have found the Thrill Theater. Okay, so here's the Thrill Theater. Here's the schedule. Shows run every 15 to 30 minutes. So there's adventure, cartoons, rides, coastal, so, okay, so a single show is $5.50, unlimited for kids is $9.95, unlimited for adults is $12.95. That's not bad. I thought it was more than that. Let's see. So look, here's some of the shows they have in here. So see, look, they have Journey to the Center of the Earth for Destination Adventure. Look, they have Rio, Angry Birds, ooh, Friday the 13th. <gasps> that would be scary. Looney Tunes ride. This looks pretty neat. Okay, so here's the conference center. This is where weddings happen, but also they're setting it up for an art auction right now. Let's see, here's the sign for the champagne art auction free champagne and look at some art. 1 p.m. on the first sea day. Circle C for 12 to 14, it's closed right now. So 
I'm gonna make a quick pass through. This is a hangout spot for the kids, ages 12 to 14. And back here is a gaming station. So they'll have game time. And it is Circle C. And here's Club 02. This is ages 15 to 17. This area is much bigger. They have a dance floor. I think they do gaming in here. I see bean bags. They have their own cornhole foosball back here. They have a bar. I'm sure they can get sodas and things like that. Along the back wall, they have their own private restroom in here. And their own entrance into the warehouse, which is the arcade. Okay, the aft dining restaurant is Blush. Sea day brunch is going on in the bottom half, so I'm gonna walk through the top. Club 02 also has an entrance directly across from the Blush restaurant. Okay, heading this way, we're going into the Warehouse Arcade. deck five now promenade we're starting at the rear of the ship and we're gonna work our way up here's the limelight lounge this is where the punchline or comedy club is in the evenings they will also hold classes and seminars in here the comedy shows are hilarious morning I found the, uh, the beginning of the chandeliers down there at the, the Blush restaurant. Look, there's lots of seating up there, too. But you know what? You know what makes the seating eight times better? Okay, to the right of the Limelight Lounge is the Fahrenheit Steakhouse. Fahrenheit, Open the door for me. Fahrenheit 555. Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Left of the Limelight Lounge is Piano Bar 88. I love that the bar is actually looks like piano keys. And don't they always? And so the piano man 
sits right in the center and he or she can play pretty much any song you want. This is a really fun place at night. And see the seating goes all the way back here. And there's bar seating over there. Okay, coming out of the piano bar, I'm just gonna walk through here. The next spot is the liquid nightclub. There's nothing going on. Maybe we can walk in. Ah, automatic doors. Nifty. Ooh, this is fancy in here. And look, there's an entrance that goes outside as well. To the hot tub. To the hot tub. <laughs> so you can go straight from the nightclub to the hot tub. Club is the professional shopper's desk. This guy's hilarious. He's very knowledgeable. Next up, Red Frog Pub. Hi, Cameron. So this is like a patio area here before you enter the actual pub. But these tables are neat. So you can get board games and play here. And of course, there's cup holders. So you, they've got slits for dominoes. Um, I think they have checkers and chess and other games that you could play in here. Okay, so we're entering the Red Frog Pub now. Favorite place on the ship. I need so much. And kids can come in here. Yeah. That's why I like it. <laughs> live acoustic music here in the evening. Red Frog, there's an exterior door. Let's see if Cameron can figure out how to open it. Ah. And then out here, got the swing chair. this is part of the pub as well. So that's really cool. That's a swinging table. And then you've got additional seating. This is outside seating for the pub. A lot of wind. At least that wind muff helps. Mm -hmm. Or at least it works, I should say. And this is the pretty much permanent spot for cornhole outside the pub. Outside of the Red Frog Pub is the Alchemy Bar. It's only open in the afternoons and evenings, so it is not open yet. Best bar on the ship in my opinion. Okay, and then this is an Ocean Plaza. So in the evenings they will have a band and entertainment and dancing. This is also where they do the trivia every day. You can see they've got their setup for trivia. So there must be one coming up soon. In the United States. I have no idea what they're doing here because this used to be the spot of the taste bar, but oh my God, the echo. Do you hear the echo? Yeah. Hello. There's an echo. Here we have the coffee bar. So they've got coffee and ice cream, and in the evenings they're going to put desserts in this case. There's no desserts out right now. Okay, you can come to this spot. You can get daily crossword puzzles. You can get a copy of the fun times, and then they also have catalogs uh, for you to choose your excursions. They also have all types of bottled drinks, juices, energy drinks, and the specialty coffees. Okay, so we are walking through Promenade towards the front of the ship. Here is another digital pictures gallery where you can sit and peruse your photos. We're going to walk through the casino, staying on the path. We are not going into the casino. Okay, up on deck five 
above the lobby are the fun shops. So we have cherry on top, funnel gear, and then going around on this side, there are more, so all the way around. So we're gonna walk, we're gonna walk this way first. Aww. Watches and other jewelry on sale. On this side is the Wave Surf Shop. You have another small fun hub and an ATM. <laughs> In case you need money for port. And then here's the bank of elevators. I'm gonna go to the other side. Port side. We're going to the other side, the port side. Port, we're going to port side. So this is tobacco. going to be your liquor and tobacco sales. Just center all this for Every the time you case. walk past one of these, squirt some hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> Always need that. Two droplets. <laughs> So in here, you're gonna have all of your alcohol and tobacco. Uh, mom, and uh, drugs. Perfume here. Mom. Oh. Drugs. Oh, okay. Yeah, also here in the alcohol and tobacco shop, if you forgot some sundries, some medication, they have it here. And I'll just kind of give you some idea on the prices of these things. Listerine is eight dollars. That little bottle. Advil is nine dollars. Tylenol oh is ten dollars. Zantac is five dollars. Dramamine. Oh, here we go. For motion sickness, that's something people need. Dramamine is nine dollars. Bonine is nine dollars. And then they have cold medicine down here as well. Okay, on this side is yet another fun hub. And this is a kiosk where you can check your sale and sign card. You can also do this from the hub app and your TV. Okay, this store is Sea Breeze. This is all fragrance in here. We have specials outside, water shoes and such. Island Trader. Over here we have Island Traders. Hey, give me a mean handshake. Oh wait, you don't have that. So this is your basic souvenir store in here. Your t-shirts, shot glasses, little cups, rum cakes. What happens? Oh wait, don't we need a magnet for this ship? We do need a magnet for this ship. Okay, you can also enter the Ovation Theater from Deck 5. This is the very top of the balcony. Walk out. Oh, this is neat. They have like a little bar area you can sit at. On, this but this is what it looks like from here. Come on, this is the very top. Okay, so I'm on deck five right now on the outside. The stick goes all the way around the ship. So I'm going to take a walk all the way around. And we're starting here by Guy's Pig and Anchor, and we will end right here by Guy's Pig and Anchor. Okay, so it took us about eight minutes 
let's walk all the way around the ship. That's 0.387 miles. Okay. This is Lido. This is 8.40 in the morning. Every pool chair is already taken on a sea day. This side, we have Guy's Burgers. And on this side is the Blue Iguana Cantina. And then over here is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar and the Red Frog Pub. On the pool deck also, if you've got kids that are not swimmers, are not good swimmers, there are life jackets of all sizes and these are completely free to use. of the entrances to Cochina del Capitano. Up there, we'll check that out in just a bit.
You come through here. Here's some restrooms. There's many entrances to the back, but I'm just coming this way. To the rear pool, or aft pool. Also called the tides pool. On this side is Tandor, which is open for lunch every day. It's not open yet, because it's too early. My favorite spot on Lido is right here. To this banquet of tables and chairs right here, because sometimes they're in the sun, sometimes they're in the shade. But look at this view. Mm -hmm. It's nine o'clock in the morning, so nobody's really out for pizza right now. And then we have the Tides Bar. which also has, next to the Tides Bar is your beer station for the Pour Your Own Thirsty Frog, and this is $4. Ah, uh, best views at the very, very back of the ship. Going up to deck 11. So in here by the elevators on deck 11 is the main entrance to Cucina del Capitano. Here's the check-in desk right here and that is the staircase up from Lido Buffet. the midship elevators is the entrance for Camp Ocean. This is ages 2 to 11. This is the area for the little ones. So this is penguins 2 to 5. And then over here is stingrays, six to eight, and sharks, nine to 11. I'm not gonna go in, because there are kids in there. 
Okay, from this pool area, we're gonna go up to 12. Okay, so this is the very, very active part of the ship. This is the sports square, the mini golf. This is a jogging course, sky track. One mile equals seven laps. There are also ping pong tables, pool tables, a fun seating area, there's cornhole. There is a bar that will open later here called Sports Square Bar. and sea dogs, which will be open for lunch. That's hot dogs. Here is the sky course. So this is a ropes course. You are tethered, so you can't fall. One side is easy and one side's more challenging. In my opinion, even the easy side is challenging because I'm just that uncoordinated. Also on deck 12. So you've got the twister slide, which is the yellow, the drain pipe, which is the orange. All up in there are paths you can climb, buckets you can dump, water that sprays you, and there's a huge power drencher that's filling up right now. We're gonna wait for it to dump. this great plastic seating all the way around so you can watch your kids play here and here
you will oh, get yeah. rid of a little bit of your muscle tension as well. And you can just relax. Then after you can go and take a seat. So this is our aromatic steam room. We use mint and you can see inside. And you can just go inside. Ooh. There will be green saunas up here. You can just go inside. And then on the other side you can have one as well. Oh yeah. Ladies locker room is the sauna. This is the free sauna. So let me see if I can. Yeah, that's the free sauna in the ladies locker room. And then this is the ladies locker room. There's nobody in here. And then here is a shower. Hey, back outside, we're gonna head up to Serenity. These little pods are amazing. And then see you've got this view. This is the very, very front of the ship. have these ironing rooms so in here it is just two irons and a sink there are other floors that have full laundry facilities but this floor just has ironing this is our deluxe ocean view stateroom so we have it's kind of dark Okay, so sofa, which is made into a bed. My bed. Here. And a table that would go in front of the sofa. Or both the stuff on. We have a king size bed, or this can make into two twin beds with nightstands on either side. We have our window. We have our towel animal. It's a bear holding a I love that. It's so look, it's a window seat. You can sit up there no, sad. and watch the water. So Pretty there's cool. lots of storage. There's a TV and show how the TV swings out. So you can swing it to the bedrooms. Close it. Or to the beds. And yet yeah, you can store things behind it. There's storage above and below. And Cameron, open that cabinet. Here is where the mini fridge is. So we bring our own sodas and we've put them inside. And I will tell you, the sodas do not get real cold. They're mm -hmm. cool, but they are not cold. So you have a vanity. Yeah, on this side you have a safe and you have storage above. 
and below, and then you have drawers. So open that top drawer, Cameron. The top drawer holds your hair dryer, and then there's three additional drawers. So open one up. Yeah, so there's three of us, so we each take one drawer for our underwear and such. Okay, open the closets. All right, so this first closet has three shelves. And then storage at the bottom, so we keep our shoes down there. And then you have, hold on, keep it open. And you have a full length mirror. We can see our beautiful gimbal. Closet. Open the next one. There's four closets. So this closet has a shelf above, hangers, and storage, and storage at the bottom for shoes. Dress shoes. No, no mirror here. You really only need one mirror. Okay, closet number three is identical to closet number two. Except you know we got a hamper in it. And yeah, this is where we we keep a hamper at the bottom. It's a big clothes hamper. And then closet number four. Is our where our life jackets are. Yes, are where the life jackets are open it. So yeah. you see the life jackets are up top. This is my life right here. And you've got additional hanging. And then to the bottom, there's another life jacket, and we have a small hamper in here. And, uh, okay, this has two bathrooms. So open this first one. This is the main bathroom. So it has the shower, and the shower has the adjustable head. It comes with shampoo and body wash. Plenty of space. And this bathroom has the toilet, the other one does not. And let me step inside and you've got mirror storage. Hi there. And additional, plenty of storage space in here. Plenty of counter space. And then you have these shelves on the side to hold additional items. Okay, next, next. Okay, so my favorite room. <laughs> okay, so this bathroom has a sink and what they call a junior tub. So you can't, it's not as big as your tub at home, but it's very deep. Warning, it took me a while, but the faucet is not up front, but on the side. Okay, hop in there so we can see how deep it is. Sit down. Okay. So Cameron is about 5'5", five, five maybe, oh, in height. Wow. <laughs> and so you can see what a human looks like inside. And it also does have a shower head. So you can shower in here too if you want. Okay, for outlets, this one actually has two. A lot of cabins we've stayed in only has one. But we bring one of these extenders. So this will give you one, two three additional plugs and one, two, three USB outlets. So it's small, it takes up very little space and you've got six plugs. Okay, some of these Ocean View rooms are connecting. We do have a connecting room and then see the other door opens and we have an identical room over here. That's a little bit messier. But, and here is the view. No wave crash. You can see the water. We are on deck. Hold on. There we go. We're on deck one, so we're pretty close down. This is the lowest deck you can stay on. Ocean views are on decks one and two. First time ever in an ocean view, and we really do like it. If you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe for more videos to come. Also, please check out our cruise food video on all the food venues of the Carnival Breeze. And also, we will have cruise life videos. So if you're interested in seeing what it's like uh, day to day on a cruise ship, be sure and check those out as well. Thanks for watching. Happy cruising.